What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're shaking things up differently with a bold and unique riff on the Whiskey Sour. Picture this, a silky smooth milk liqueur stepping in as our star sweetener. Crazy, right? Well, the only thing crazy about this is how crazy good it is. And not only it is delightful, milk liquor has a sneaky little benefit that I'm sure will please most of you. And now if you're like, what the heck is milk liquor, JF? Fear not, my friends, I'm gonna run you through everything you need to know, from what it is, how to make it, and why it deserves a prime spot in your home bar arsenal. So if you guys are ready, let's dive together into the beautiful world of milk liquor. Let's go. Alright my friends, so first of all, what is milk liquor? The origin of this is a little bit blurry, but we know for sure it comes from Portugal, and it's known there as liquor de lete. It's a tradition passed from generations to generations, and the traditional recipe is simply an equal parts mix of milk, sugar, and neutral spirit. Then they throw a few pieces of lemon and orange in there, sometimes spices, and they let that steep and infuse at room temperature for 10 to 12 days. Then they filter it and the result is a milk wash liquor with hint of citruses. It is usually served as an after dinner drink and the result is pretty damn tasty. I remember the first time I've done it the traditional way and I was really happy. I also saw all the possibilities that this liquor could offer, but it also kind of left me on my appetite for some reasons. But today I decided I would redo the classic liquor to have a point of comparison. If you want to do two, it's very simple. In a jar, you simply add equal parts of sugar, milk and vodka. Then you're gonna squeeze in some pieces of lemon and oranges, throw the pieces in there, add the optional spices like vanilla and cinnamon if you want, give a stir, cover and let that infuse at room temperature for 10 to 12 days, making sure to open it and give a stir every day. Then you're gonna filter it through a cheesecloth or coffee filter and this is how you make the traditional liquor de latte. When I say this version of the liquor left me a little bit on my appetite, it's because I saw a few downsides and the biggest one for me was the inconsistency. There's no precise rules on the amount of citrus you put in there compared to the other ingredients. I guess people were just doing it the way they learned it or how they were liking it, but that can yield a very citrusy liquor sometimes and sometimes not at all. And my personal OCD, especially when it comes to cocktails, I need balance, I need precision, and this was a big no for me. Also, the amount of time that the citrus spend in the liquor when it's steeping for 10 to 12 days, you get in the end result the bitterness from the skin, and that's for me the second downside. Lastly, it takes a whole lot of time to make, 10 to 12 days. It got me wondering if it was really necessary, especially because of the bitterness. But now on the other hand, it has some very cool upsides. It is super tasty. It has a very nice silky smooth texture, but the biggest one, it is shelf stable. So because of all that, I wanted to create my own version of the liqueur to respect my OCD, to get rid of all the downside and keeping all the upsides. And I also wanted to answer some questions. Is it really necessary to infuse or let it steep for 10 to 12 days? Will that have an impact on the milky flavor of the end result? And also, will this have an impact on the yield you're gonna get if you let it infuse for a longer amount of time? The answers to that was no, and no, it doesn't taste milkier if you let it steep for a longer period of time, and it doesn't yield a larger batch if you let it infuse for a longer amount of time. So that means that we can shorten the prep time, control the citrus flavor, and this is how I've done it. First, in a container, you're gonna add 100 grams of whole milk. Then in another container, you're gonna prep 100 grams of vodka, to which you're gonna add 3.5 grams of 6% acid solution. To make the 6% acid solution, you simply mix 6 grams of citric acid powder to 94 grams of water, stir until dissolved and bottle it up. I recommend you do so in a pipa bottle because we're going to use always just a small amount. If you don't want to use the citric acid solution, if you don't have the acid powder, you can also use the same amount, 3.5 grams of filtered lemon juice. Then you're going to pour your acidified vodka over the milk close the lid and let that steep at room temperature for 24 hours. In the meantime, we're gonna prep our flavored sugar that we're gonna make kind of in the same way of an oleo saccharum. So in a container, you're gonna add three grams of lemon peel, 
three grams of orange peels. You're gonna add to that 100 grams of granulated sugar. Close the lid, give a brief shake to make sure the sugar coats the peels and let that rest at room temperature also for 24 hours. After 24 hours, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have a clear break. That means your mixture is ready to filter. And quick disclaimer, the clear liquid is vodka and milk whey. And milk whey is filled up with lactose. So if you are intolerant, you can totally use lactose-free milk. The result in terms of flavor will be exactly the same. And this also counts for actually any other milk wash cocktails you want to make. And also 24 hours later, this is what your sugar is going to look like. If you look carefully, you're going to see some of the oils of the citrus that starts to melt the sugar. But because we didn't add a lot, it's still going to be pretty solid. So now we can filter it. Today I'm using a rinsed coffee filter, but you can use a nut milk bag or cheese cloth or even paper towel if you want. Today I'm using a rinsed coffee filter. So we're simply going to pour that in the filter. It's already dripping pretty clear. That's because the separation was really well made after 24 hours. But if you see some cloudy bits, wait about a minute, then switch vessel and re-pour your cloudy liquid over your unfiltered mixture. And that way you're gonna get a perfectly clear liquid, guarantee. Once you're done with the filtration, you're gonna add 150 grams of your milk washed vodka to your 100 grams of flavored sugar. You're gonna stir to dissolve for about two minutes without heating anything. Remove the pills, close the lid, and re-stir every 30 minutes or so. This whole process to dissolve the sugar completely should take about one hour and a half or two hours, but it's very important to do it that way because you don't want to heat anything. Then, once the sugar is dissolved completely, you simply bottle it up and keep it in the fridge. Making the liquor that way takes only 24 hours. The flavor is perfectly consistent from batches to batches and the sugar content is controlled at a Brix of 40, which is a little less than simple syrup. And while I usually balance my cocktail with a little less sugar than citrus, here with that liquor, I can do equal parts and the cocktail is perfectly balanced. Now, if you want to make a larger batch of this, you can totally do so. This is shelf stable, so you don't have to worry about the speed you're going to consume the liquor. And if you want to make a larger batch, you simply multiply all the ingredients by the same ratio. So now let's give it a try. On the nose, you get beautiful, bright, subtle notes from the citruses. And on the palate, you get a sweet, smooth, silky mouthfeel, again with some citrus notes and just a hint of dairy flavors that will make a great difference in cocktails. Speaking of which, let's try it in the whiskey sour. Let's go. So to make the whiskey sour, you know the drill. We're going to start with some rye whiskey, milk liquor, lemon juice, one egg white, Angostura bitters, and orange for the garnish. So first in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour two ounces or 60 mils of rye whiskey, one ounce or 30 mils of milk liquor, one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and one egg white. Then we're gonna dry shake the cocktail. Egg whites tend to expand when you shake it, so close that and hold it very tightly and shake for about 10 to 20 seconds. Then we're gonna add ice to our shaker. And then we're gonna shake it once again vigorously for about 10 seconds. Now we're gonna fine strain this over ice in an old fashioned glass. We're gonna express an orange zest over the cocktail. And we're gonna make three dots of Angostura on top of the foam. And with a pick, we're gonna make beautiful art shapes. And there go my friends, the whiskey sour with milk liqueur. Cheers.
At first, it's almost exactly the same as a regular whiskey sour, but when the citrus and the bourbon fades out a little bit, it leaves you with a very long and silky mouthfeel that's almost creamy without being fat, and that's because of the milk wash of the liquor. It's really tasty but subtle, so you get that bright notes from the orange and from the lemon, and the vanilla notes from the bourbon really makes me feel like an orange creamsicle. I love it, and I think it is very versatile because because it is not extremely tasty. You can use that in pretty much any cocktails that will go well with orange or lemon instead of simple syrup. It's just gonna add a little subtle note of something that's really magical without really knowing what it is unless you know it. So I love it. I hope you're gonna love it too. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, to hit that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers to the whiskey with milk. That sounds gross. But it's good.